Freedom, I'm beauty to everyone. I am the Techno Mage, and I am finally back with Manganime News. Bloody hell, the last two weeks were impossible. They almost killed me. Honestly, either I finished the week or the week would have finished me. But I survived, I won, and I am back. So started with starting with Suicide Squad Rampages into Japanese anime. Oh, that's great! In Suicide Squad is a what? Oh no God! No! 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 No more is a guy. Why? 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 Alright, let's watch the trailer. Alright, Harley looks lovely. Joker looks like hell. And Hannah uh, and Sony, dragons and magic and corks and Harley's crazy. What? Ugh. But seriously, why is a guy? Why? Don't we have enough is a guy? Oh bloody hell. Now speaking of trailers, I think it was last week, I think, this week that finally have the final live trailer for One Piece live action by Netflix. And I have to say it looks good. Pretty good. I mean, I'm not a, as you know, I'm not a One Piece fan, but I recognize some, some of the characters that I've seen here and there, and I have to say, this looks really, really nice. And I'm not going to play, I'm going to skip through the trailer because it's too long. I mean, three minutes. We have a uh, well, that's Goldie Royer's final Mike. moments, there is Soro. Mutiny. And there's Luffy. Everywhere we now. More and more characters, there is uh, this clown. <laughs> oh, what's his name? Paggy. Yes, Paggy. Soap. No, Sanji. Soro. Nami. Again. I'm gonna kick your ass because no one messes with my friends. And there was, yes, uh, what was his name? Oh, there's Mihawk, I think his name. There's Chance. Good enough. Good enough scenes. I didn't know there were so many pirates. It's terrible. I know, right? Where's my face? And just five more days. Wow. Yes, as, as I said, this looks amazing. Even though I am not a One Piece fan, but then again, it is Netflix and we all know what that means. So yes, and speaking of One Piece, terminally ill One Piece fan who wishes to know the ending of One Piece. Wow. So there is this uh, Reddit user named Limp Caterpillar 1202 who says that he's going to die of cancer. That uh, it started on. Her skin and now and then it metastasized to the leaf nodes and has about four months left of life. But now the Make-A-Wish Foundation who helps terminally ill people to fulfill their wishes uh, wishes to know the ending of One Piece and 
has received a lot of emotional support from the community, which I find something absolutely wonderful. This is what the community is for to bring us all together. But I don't know. I mean, how many terminally ill One Piece fans are out there and revealing the ending of One Piece would be kind of a dangerous. I mean, it increases the possibility of spoilers leaks. But anyway, I'm really sorry for this person and I wish you the best. And oh yes, I almost forgot to mention, speaking of the One Piece live action, something that a news that actually gave me a lot of hope. Sorry that it's in Spanish, I no worry was translated. I will translate it for you. There is a famous scene on the series, on the manga and the anime, near the beginning of the series when Nami is, is recruited into Luffy's crew, where she asks Luffy for, for help. And Eiichiro Oda saw this, the Luffy help me scene on the live action, and he said, it's perfect. And Emily Roth, the actress who plays Nami, got, got wind of this and she said, that's it, I can die in peace, it's done, I'm done. Wow. Wow. Now, in some happier news, Nia Automata version 1.1a second course in production. So yes, finally, the last four episode of, episodes of the anime adaptation of Nier, Nier Automata are finally out. They just dropped them all in one go. I still have to watch them because I was, fo I was following this series. And the last four episodes were delayed because of COVID. It, Nia Automata suffered two delays due to COVID-19. But that's finally out of the picture and the series is finally done. And now they have announced that there will be a second season or well, a second part, which I presume since I know how the game goes, the second course would be the story told from the point of view of A2, I think. And then the and this second course would finish the story. There is a trailer, but I am not going to play it because of, you know, spoilers. And that will be all from anime and manga. Now I'm going to go to more industry related news courtesy of shonen jump news unofficial remember to follow them on twitter so one piece is dominating in the first week of july the, the sales with over 1 million copies sold and just guys saying and more and more and more shuesha it's dominating the top 10 in sales but then one week later, we see Shuecha is still dominating, this time with Jujutsu Kaisen in first place, but now we have Kodansha, Akita Shoten, more Kodansha, and Shogakukan, and Square Enix, Square Enix. So yeah, they are all selling pretty well. It seems that the summer drought that I reported many months ago, it's finally over. And now, moving on to Oricon, now specifically for the Weekly Shonen Jumps series, here we have again One Piece with over 1 million copies sold in first week, second week, over 200,000. These are the numbers I am, I am more accust accustomed to. Now that we, like, like I reported, a couple of months ago with that severe drought of sales where 
uh, number one wouldn't so this would be the the sales numbers for first week and then not rank it like this and i well just guys then sold beautifully seven hundred thousand then almost two hundred thousand mashley if i remember correctly the manga was cancelled i think i don't remember i don't think i'm confusing with another thing wait on that not look just a quarter family first week sold second week not rank and it doesn't surprise me because just a good family is was a founding member of the of what i call the danger zone and the usual suspects on the log same thing high school family absolutely not on rank was high school family cancelled let's check so for last week of the weekly channel jump here no yes here is on the unlock just a quarter family is right here yes high school family was cancelled it's not no longer here and speaking of cancel oof do retry why why is this series so low i mean the story is good the characters are great is it because the fights is just is really episodic i mean we have the the main argument the main arc of the story which is to save the life of the main character's sister excuse me spoiler alert but so far it's been really episodic i mean each each fight lasts one or two chapters at best now fabric 100 i can believe is here it's it has managed to survive for over 30 chapters but still feels really really mainstream and tropey ishinoseke it deserves to be here it started so well it was so good and now it just it is just a nightmare to follow it because the story is just so convoluted Tenmaku cinema i dropped it many months ago like after chapter after, after the second chapter Elusive Samurai, eh, I can understand. I mean, it's it's an historical manga. We with just one Wikipedia search, you already would know how the story would end. Noise Exorcist. Now, Noise Exorcist is receiving a lot of backlash here in the comments of Shonen Jump News Unofficial because it's really because it's really mainstream and and the such. But it's still entertaining. My Hero Academia on ninth. Wow. I mean, yes, I, I can actually completely understand this because the series is ending, we are in the final arc, we are in the final moments of the series, and the author has lost a lot of time uh, finishing stories. The Todoroki, family drama, uh, Himiko Toga, and the like. But those are finally over and please now we can concentrate on the final fight between all for one and one for all please and the rest is where they are usually on the unlock akane banashi mission just Sakura family honestly i think these th three series were rescued from the danger zone because of the new series oh and speaking of new series we have two New series, Marshall, Master, Asumi, and Ice Heard Girl, Gil, which I can say anything about because I haven't read it yet. Sorry about that. Now, that's, this was last week. On this week, there, will, there won't be Hero Academia, but we will have, oh, but what we will have is now Fabricant 100 is in last place. Wow, do retry it uh, a little bit, but still on the top 10, still on the danger zone. Temago Cinema, again, I don't care. Ishinoseke, right there. 
Cypher Academy is still going strong, which makes me very, very happy because of those first four new series together with Ishinoseke and... Well, it was Cypher Academy, Ishinoseke, uh, what was the other one? Ah, yes, Fabric 100, and... What was the other one? Uh, the, the one about the Android boy, which was cancelled, by the way. Cypher Academy is actually my favorite. So I am very, very happy that Cypher Academy is doing well. Where is Cypher Academy? Here. Cypher, 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 Cypher. Oh, there isn't. Oh, I didn't notice that Cypher Academy... Oh, no, here is. It, it had a color page. Ha. Huh. But yeah, Cypher Academy is surviving is alive and well which makes me very very happy so that will be the end of this video this is the Mage signing off thank you for watching i will see you all in the next video goodbye